Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video. So this week, as you can tell, I'm going to share with you how I do my Christmas sessions in my business because I know a lot of photographers, if you're especially starting out, you see others that are offering Christmas sessions or seasonal sessions. So I wanted to share with you how I do them, how they can be profitable, easy to do, and how you can book a few clients in a day even. So I'm gonna share all that with you in this week's video. Okay, so my first tip to having a good, um, you know, Christmas mini sessions, and so you can book a lot, is to reduce your cost. So if this is the first time you're doing it, obviously you're gonna buy some props, but you're gonna pay a bit upfront. That's okay because you can reuse those next year. So make sure when you do buy your setups or your backdrop, don't throw them away, don't sell them because you know that you're gonna reuse them next year and the year after. Unless it's not for you and you don't wanna do them anymore. But by all means, I think a good idea is to keep them and see you might change your mind the following year as well. So all you pretty much need is at least one backdrop, um, some a few outfits, maybe two for girls, two for boys, or if you like to use wraps, that's pretty much all you need. Um, some props and decoration, um, for your backdrop and that's pretty much it that's all you need now you'll see a, a preview of behind the scenes of um, my one of my Christmas mini sessions and how you will see the final images as well that you really don't need to go over and beyond another thing you can do is instead of a backdrop if you can't afford it at the moment or you just don't want to use a backdrop or there's no backdrops that you like for some reason you can get some nice decorations like a Christmas um, there's a lot of Christmas decorations you can put up there if simplicity is your thing. You don't even have to put a lot of Christmas decorations. Um, if you can just maybe just focus on the outfits for the child, but I like to focus more on the decorations or you keep something simple like a Christmas um, decoration, a Christmas tree or Christmas um, wreath or something like that that you can hang in the backdrop um, for your client's images. Some Christmas hats like these ones, some Christmas headbands dear headbands there's also some Christmas um, baby hats as well so anything that you can get that um, is really affordable and you don't want to get a backdrop there is so much ideas you can do so I would actually put some nice Christmas um, tinsel or something like that and keep it simple with a red rug or something like that so you really don't have to be spending a lot maybe that's what you want to do up front so then you can make some income to buy nice Christmas backdrops for maybe next year. Now let's talk about what I offer my clients, you know, for um, Christmas sessions. So I market it obviously to my email list, to clients on my Facebook page, Instagram, and all that stuff. But I like to keep the sessions really short. So it's important to put a specific time frame, um, especially if you're booking back-to-back -back clients, to put a specific um, images, number of images you're offering your clients. And I also don't give clients USBs because it's only, I offer five, between five and eight images sometimes I like to only give them to them by a download link so use something online like shoot proof where they can upload view the images select them and then you can send them a link to download so that way you're cutting the cost as well now let's talk about pricing you can price these however is you want but I know for a fact that if they're short quick sessions it's good to keep them um, on average especially around those that are around you and to see what they're charging so usually a good figure is anywhere between maybe 150 to 250 that all depends on the time you're taking um, it all depends on the images you're editing and how much you're delivering to your client so I really can't tell you what to charge it really really depends on a few factors as well but that's just on average what I've been seeing lately amongst Christmas mini sessions so hopefully these tips Tips have gotten you thinking, gotten you encouraged to start doing some Christmas mini sessions this year, next year, and many more years to come. Um, if you have any questions, let me know below. Also, I would like to know from you, how much do you charge for mini sessions and how many images particularly do you deliver to clients and how? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you all next week for another video. Until then, take care.